So a recursive linear equation we saw looks something like this. The downside of an equation like this is that if I want to predict the number of bottles that he's going to have in five years, I have to calculate p1, p2, p3, p4, and finally p5 one at a time. If I want to know how many bottles he's going to have after, you know, 30 years, then I'm going to have to calculate every value in between, and that is just plain tedious. And so we don't really like to do that. And so let's see if we can come up with a better way to do this. So we're going to try to come up with an explicit equation. An explicit equation will give me pn, the number of bottles he'll have after n years, just in terms of the number of years. And so let's see, p0 we saw was 437, p1 was p0 plus 32, which was, you know, 500 and, no, no, it was 469, that's right. Now p2 is p1 plus 32, right? And what is p1? p1 is 469, but let's break that down a little bit more and instead say p1 is this stuff. So let's say p2 is p1 plus 32. So all of this here is part of p1, and you notice these are common, so we could actually write this as 437 plus 2 times 32. I'm just going to use parentheses here to make it clear that we're multiplying. So let's think p3 then is p2 plus 32, and p2 we know is all of this stuff. So let's go ahead and replace p2 with that stuff. So p2 is 437 plus 2 times 32, and now I'm adding one more 32 onto that. Well, that means I've got 437 plus now 3 32s, and you're probably starting to see a pattern, and we can generalize to say pn looks like it's going to be 437 plus n times 32, or in other words, I'm going to have added 32 n times after n years. And this gives me the ex what we call an explicit equation. And my explicit equation here is pn equals 437 plus either n times 32, or I might be more inclined to write it as 32n. That is my explicit equation in this case. Now, in general, ex the explicit equation is going to... So let's get rid of all this. So you might remember that the, the recursive equation always looked like p0 equals something, p n was p n minus 1 plus a d. That was our recursive equation. Our explicit equation, then, is always going to look like p n equals, well, let's see, the 437 was the initial value, so p 0 plus, and what was this? This was the common difference, that was the d, and this is the number of years, so p 0 plus d times n. And this is our general explicit equation for, this is explicit linear, linear growth. And this explicit linear equation, this explicit linear equation is going to allow us to much more easily solve questions like this.